What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we started our new adventure right here in the Kanto region. And, uh, well, we kind of laid down a few things. That way, it makes this whole thing a little interesting. For instance, we're going to be doing trades right here in the Visual Boy Advance. I will be teaching you guys how to do that. Something informational and all that crud. We will be using quite a few Pokemon. I mean, a lot of Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. What else? What else is there? Oh, yeah. Important things. Important battles and all that stuff. So here we are in the Viridian Forest. And in the last episode as well, we caught ourselves a Pokemon by the name of Tornado. The Spearow. That's right. And it is for this part right here in the Viridian Forest because there is going to be a lot of Bug-type Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Speaking of uh, important battles. Yes, some important battles will be... Well, some important battles will be boss battles and all that stuff. Unimportant battles will be wild Pokemon battles right here. And, well, look at that. We got ourselves another Pokeball. Let us move on. Yeah! So, like I said, guys. Unimportant battles. Wild Pokemon battles. Now, if you guys see maybe one or two more Pokemon on my team, it's probably because... I'm trying to add them for the Pokédex. In Generation 3, yes, you're going to be seeing, uh, I guess, an increase or a, a much more of a value in the, the items that Professor Oak's age will be giving you. So just be aware of that. Plus, I kind of want to get it done before the next Pokémon battle because, uh, yeah, it requires uh, you catching new Pokémon. Like I was like I was saying, the amount of Pokémon you capture. With the amount of Pokemon uh, you capture, it will open up new new doorways and all that stuff. And if you guys want to see what those doorways will be, go ahead and check out my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Hey, you have Pokemon? Come on, let's battle them. Alrighty, here we go. Bring it. So, here we go, taking on Bugcatcher Rick, and he's going to be coming out with his Weedle. Now, when I say important battles, of course, boss battles and all that stuff, but... I can make I can make an exception for right here in the Viridian Forest. That way you guys can see what's going on. But later on we're gonna be good, like literally going through the routes and everything, trying to get this walkthrough done. Now I don't know if I mentioned this before, but yes, I do want to finish this walkthrough in less than 50 episodes, and I think I can do that. I don't want to prolong it for many of you guys. I just want to get to the nitty gritty. Look at that tornado grows a little four. It's about to come out with another level right here. So let's go ahead and just kick some Caterpie butts. If they even have butts. And, oh, crap baskets. Yeah, it is, uh, it is going down right here. So, the good thing is that we actually stocked up on some potions right here. And yes, I caught myself a Caterpie off screen. And, uh, oh, wow. Okay, not gonna do that. But yes, um, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and tackle these guys. I want to finish this uh, in less than 50 episodes for you guys. It's going to be informational and all that stuff, just to, sh just to show you what, what what's going on here in uh, Fire Red. And uh, look at that. Okay. That's right. We didn't hold back right here. I don't know what else to say. Hmm. Oh, yeah. With, you know, with the less, with the less episodes, more information and all that stuff. On top of that, more time for trading. Now, I did start Pokemon Fire Red. A little earlier than expected for, well, ahead of schedule, before Emerald and all that crud, because there is there there is something that we can't do right now in Pokemon Emerald and right here that we can only do way later on, and that is trade Pokemon. You actually have to beat the game, or not beat the game, but you actually have to beat the Elite Four and do, do certain adventures in order for you to actually get that that permission to trade with Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And this is going to be like the first time, first time ever on my channel that I'll be able to do this. I mean, we've done it in the Game Boy uh, Color. Might as well do it right here on the Game Boy Advance. Many of you guys will love this. That means, yes, we will be seeing Terramon, Ultra Psycho. Actually, we're gonna see Ultra Psycho evolve, which is awesome. And bam, look at that tornado, not taking anything from anybody. Look at that, level seven, learning Leer. That's right, and Doug wants to come out with a Kakuna, so let's continue on right here. Bring it. Let's go, Kakuna. How's it going? Peg attack. And oh wow, it's super effective, but it's still 
It's gonna be using the hardened attack right here. So this is this is a situation where I could actually use the speed button in and, and just uh, get get on with it. But I choose not to because it's it's you know it's a written forest. Come on, it's the best forest in the world right here. And there you go, Kakuna has been defeated. Alrighty, and we get some more points. Tornado dominating everybody. Alrighty. Okay, so another thing too, guys. There is a Pokemon that I do want to capture here that I kind of want to include on the team, so I'll be right back with you guys. Oh, God, it took me quite some time to find a male Pikachu. Okay, so I know some of you guys are probably yelling at your screen right now and being like, we knew you were going to capture a Pikachu. How did we know? And, oh, crap, yeah, we got that. So, if you guys probably remember, in Pokemon Leaf Green, I did capture myself a Pikachu, but there was a little bit of a difference. That Pikachu was a female Pikachu, and then I eventually, well, I, be I eventually named it uh, Aaliyah after my niece. There is a, what was it called, a ninth birthday episode for her, you know, dedicated to her. So if you guys want to check that out, yeah, link's right there. Um, but in this episode right here, or in this version, we're going to be trying to capture a male Pikachu and name it uh, Sparky after our very, very, very first Pikachu that we ever had. Back in Pokemon Yellow, you know, the very first walk that I ever did as Gym Leader Draven. Yeah, that kind of stuff. And, uh, again, I know you guys are yelling at your screen right now, but chill. Just chill. Hear me out. Please. Help. He 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 hear me out, guys. So, when I say we're going to be using quite a few Pokemon, I mean it. Don't get used to having the same old Pokemon like this Pikachu right here onto my team. And that is because, yeah, we're going to be switching it up every single time. I do have another Pokemon in mind to actually put it on my team as a permanent member. This is just a stepping stone. So as you guys can see, here's Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. It has small uh, small electric sacks on both its cheeks. If threatened, it loses, uh, it loses electric, or electric charges from its sacks. Or from the sacks. From its sacks. I don't know. Anywho... Here we have our male Pikachu, and yes, we're gonna be Queefit its name. Say hello, guys, or say, or welcome back. Good gravy. Welcome back to Sparky right here. That's right, guys. Sparky's back, and who knows? We might evolve it. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are back, and well, let's go right ahead and take a look at Sparky right here, the Pikachu. It is a careful nature, and it does have one of my favorite abilities, that is static. Any physical attack will actually get it get get it paralyzed and all that stuff. And well, as you guys can see, it does have basic moves: thunder shock and growl. Let's see what the careful uh, the caref the careful nature does. So the careful nature boosts up the special defense while lowering the sp uh, the special attack, which is kind of lame because well, that's pretty much what Pikachu is all about and all that crud. But like I said, guys, we're not really gonna have Pikachu for very, very long. Well, not for a long time. We're gonna, it's, it's, it's there for, a, for a while, not for a long time. Or how did they, how did they say it? I don't know. Let's go ahead and start battling some other Pokemon trainers right here because, well, it took me quite a bit, like 10 minutes to actually try and find this Pokemon at the male version. So let's go right ahead. Look at this. We got ourselves a bug catcher, Anthony, do having uh, two Pokemon. And yes, tornado. We're gonna go back at it. Now, I did have to go to the Pokemon Center once or twice because Tornado kept on getting uh kept on getting fainted right here. Yeah, not the best thing. And there you go, we have defeated one of those guys and nearly growing to level nine. Let's continue on right here. And Caterpie. Not the not the scariest Pokemon ever, but still. It is a, a very well, yeah, like I said, it's not a very scary Pokemon. If it does string shot and you're not a very fast Pokemon, that thing right there is just gonna yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna fare well and all that stuff. So here we have Tornado at level 90, or level 9 I should say. And well, Anthony, yeah, you're doing nothing right right now. Nothing. Okay, so let's go right ahead and give a potion to good old tornado right here. It already likes me because we leveled it up just once or twice. And let us move on. This whole walking thing is very, very, very lame. I, I, I really hate it. I really do. Can't wait to start running anytime soon. Alrighty, moving on forward. 
Oh yeah, by the way, I did capture myself all the Pokemon in here. That includes the Kakunas and Metapods. Like I said before, guys, capturing Pokemon becomes uh, a big thing right here in uh, Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red, so just be aware of that. Did you know Pokemon evolve? Yes, they do. Okay. Let's get it. Bring it on, and here we have Charlie coming out with a Metapod. So this should be easy. I will be speeding up right here because, well, yeah. So here we go, Thundershock, 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 and look at that, Sparky grows levels. Oh yes, gotta love my Pikachu. Oh my god, level 5, oh. Hey, Tornado, keep an eye out for this. And he's gonna come out with a Caterpie, so let's go straight for a Tornado yet again. And see what it can do with a, uh, with a live Pokemon right here. So, let's go straight for the Peck Attack. And there we go, Caterpie has been defeated. Yes. Alrighty, okay. And here comes another Metapod, so let's go right ahead and give Sparky a little bit of a love right here. And maybe, just maybe speed it up just a tad bit right here. So, Sparky, how's it going? I missed you, buddy. Thundershock, 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 and Thundershock, look at that. And it is at level 6, okay. So yes, we are getting ready for this Pokemon Gym Battles and stuff. Alright, Charlie. Yes, you did not... You did not win. Okay, so let us move on right here. And let's see what can happen right here. We might get attacked by a Pokemon here and there, but it's alright. And yeah, we didn't get attacked by a Pokemon. I lie. Alright, so we have one more item right here. We grab this one, and it is a potion. That is usually uh, a very, very good thing having multiple potions, but like I mentioned before, uh, having uh, having uh, Leonardo has proven to be a little bit of a challenge because, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's supposed to be the special defense or the defensive Pokemon, but yet it keeps on fainting and whatnot. Alright, so here we go with the final trainer. And here we're taking on Sammy, and he's got himself a Weedle at level 9. Be aware, guys, that, you know, Weedles do poison po like poison you, so big, make sure to have some antidotes with you at all times. And, well, here we have a poison uh, sting. And this might be the very first time that I have uh, never gotten poison here. And, wow, look at that. Okay, all right, so I feel good. I feel great. Let us move on right here, guys. We are exiting the Viridian Forest, and I think that's pretty much it right there. Alrighty. Okay, so here we are in Route 2, and this obviously leads to Pewter City, the very, very first city that gets us our first Pokemon gym battle and all that stuff. So, we're going to stop it right here, guys. Yes, I know. We're getting there. We're going to get there to where we speed up everything. But in the next episode, we will be battling uh, the Pewter City gym leader for our first badge. So just be aware of that, guys. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to make a small donation to the channel... There it is, the heart button's right there. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.